<clears throat> what's up guys I uh, decided to uh, I just came back from like doing a bunch of errands and stuff and then um, I oiled this uh, so there's a pin here and a pin here and you just push them out from the other side and then the lower and the upper um, come apart from each other like along this line right here and uh, so yeah I, there's only like a couple spots you can put oil <clears throat> I added some grease to a different area um, which may or may not help me, or I, I don't know. It's probably not going to do much, but it's just a BB gun. So yeah, this is the Crossman DPMS SBR 4.5mm uh, BB gun. Um, it just uses normal, like, steel BBs. Um, I've never tried using iron or copper, but the instructions say to use steel BBs, so I'm using steel BBs. And then I'll be using uh, just 12 gram cartridges. Each magazine can hold two cartridges, so you can get a lot of shots out of one mag, but I typically only run one CO2 cartridge because that, that option is available. I'm gonna put this camera down really quick. So I believe that this particular model is discontinued now. I think it came out um, like 2018 or 2019. I got it as a gift in uh, 2022. Um, so yeah, the timeline of me getting like less lethal launchers and BB guns and stuff, I got my Berna SD first, and then I got, that was like in like March of 2022, and then I got my Berna TCR in uh, like August of 2022, and then in like November or October of 2022, I got this thing, and then um, I hadn't bought anything until this year. So for the for the past like two, two and a half years almost, I guess, yeah, pretty much like two years, I haven't gotten anything since this. But since this, I've got the Salt Supply S2 in uh, February of 2024. And then I got the uh, HDB shotgun, I think like in March of 2024. And then a couple, like a month later, I got my TR-68, uh, the big old revolver thing. And then I got the HDP 50s and the TR 50s, just because my interest in this is gone up a lot but anyways um these are the magazines the little covers go right here and uh, each of them comes with um a little allen wrench so you can uh set the co2 into the uh res respected area so you you want to load the the left side in first and it even says first right here it's like engraved on the metal um i don't i've never tried putting it in second like the i never tried doing it that way it probably will just leak everywhere. I have no idea what happens, but I always just load in one typically. Every once in a while, I'll load two, but you just get more shots. I don't think it any. I don't think it adds any um, power or speed to the paint uh, to the uh, BBs. But um, yeah, I usually just do one, and then um, you load them up in this follower. You pull this uh, like spring thing down. And then it goes, uh, it gets stuck in this little notch down here. And then you can load BBs right here. I have a uh, speed loader that this came with. So I'm going to um, put the camera down real quick and then just load up some mags. Okay, so how the speed loader works is uh, you fill this with BBs. Um, you can pull this, uh, this lid that kind of has like a hinge. So you put the BBs in here and then this little like um, punch thing it loads in BBs and uh, you held this upside down because gravity kind of feeds it and the end of this speed loader has a ball sticking out. This particular speed loader is a match for this magazine. I have tried using this speed loader in my other um, Glock 19 Gen 3 uh, magazine but it doesn't work that good. So you put the, ah um, oh crap, my follower came up. So you put the, uh, the speed loader like you kind of like put it in that little notch on the mag and then you um, push the button this magazine I kind of screwed up I put a BB in the middle of the spring so my other magazine is actually like pretty pristine condition so yeah this one is good now so um, you put this thing right here and then you push this button down and it it loads BBs into this uh, little like I'm trying to do this on one hand or you know I can't do this very good because camera's right here and like on camera I can't do this very good but off camera this would only take like two seconds so yeah this thing's all loaded up now you can see all the BBs in there 
and then you just push this uh, follower spring back and it puts pressure it's pushing the balls down and it's feeding them into here and this part goes uh, this is like the front of the magazine I put oil on this uh, little seal right here and then you just place it in here um, I pierced the co2 cartridge that's in here basically it looks like this but there's a uh, co2 cartridge on the left side and uh, I tightened it down with the Allen key and then it hisses for like a second it's pretty similar to like the uh, FSC or if you have uh, one of those Brodax um, CO2 BB pistols or the uh, any of the Glock ones I think when you pierce the uh, cartridge you need a key an Allen key and you twist it and then it puts pressure and there's a little uh, like needle and seal up there and that punctures the uh, CO2 cartridge so I'm going to uh, pull this back and charge the weapon um, like put a uh, around in the chamber i have a target right there i'm not sure how far that away away that is it's not that far it's probably 10 feet or something but i'm not really going for distance or nothing and uh, the last time i shot this every once in a while i'd have an issue with um it not wanting to fire a bb uh, maybe since i oiled it it's a little bit better but right now i have it on uh, semi-automatic and i'm just gonna shoot a couple shots and uh just give me one second I'm just trying to aim and get a good camera angle. So yeah, it's out of shots. Um, I, I do like this gun, it's cool. Um, I'm gonna put it on safe. It's cool to shoot, it's just a good plinker. It has a good weight to it, so you do get kind of like a, uh, like a milsim, uh, kind of like, you can train with this, because it weighs like four and a half, five pounds. Um, I was aiming for the bullseye on this target. It looks like I was hitting a little bit low, but I wasn't really, ah oh shit, spider. I wasn't really uh, um, able to hold on and stabilize the uh, rifle very well, but one hit a bullseye, the rest of them were in that, majority of them were in that eight or nine circle on the bottom. One hit the seven, one hit outside to the right. I'm gonna do full auto on this next uh, magazine. And then uh, I'll just hold the camera and shoot exactly how I just did. I'll see if that pattern kind of starts going all over the place because yeah <clears throat> um, since I'm holding the camera it'll be kind of hard to stabilize my shot and hold the camera I mean I could put the camera right here but I feel like it's funner if you guys hear the the automatic um, shots so I'm gonna pause the camera real quick and then I'll uh, reload my magazine and put it in full auto all right you guys I reloaded um, it's in full auto right now uh, it's facing this little like triple bullet or double bullet thing so when I pull the trigger it's pretty much just it should just release all the uh, ammo like I said every once in a while I have issues with this thing where it doesn't want to do full auto or it'll shoot like three shots and get stuck or something um, but yeah I don't know I've heard mixed reviews on this like some people say theirs are great and they work awesome other people say they suck and internals are trash so far I haven't had any bad experience with it but uh Every once in a while it gets stuck, but like once you pull the um, once you pull the charge handle, it seems to fix everything. Like this, uh, the I think it's a yeah charge handle. You just pull it back, and it's like the TMC or any other um, kind of like AR-15 um, style paintball launchers or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot a bullseye and full auto. Here we go. So yeah, that was it. That was like two seconds of shooting and uh, there goes 25 rounds. So um, so that's 50 shots um, on the same CO2 cartridge. I'm gonna check that spray pattern. I feel like it was hitting pretty good. I, 
I forgot to extend the stock back when I was doing the semi-automatic uh, firing. So this time I pulled the stock back and it was kind of resting against my shoulder. So yeah, it looked like most of it hit the uh, this area and probably some of here. Can't really tell. I'll put a new target up and I'll do full auto again. So one second. All right, you guys, I reloaded the magazine. This is the same CO2 cartridge. So this is shot like 51 through uh, 75. I'm gonna be standing at that uh, brick right there. And um, I'm going to be shooting that target down there. I walked from that target till about um, like this metal stake that my finger is pointing at. That was seven feet, like seven footsteps from down there. So this is, this is like a, I don't know, two feet past that stake down there. So I'd say this is like 23 feet, maybe 24 feet. And my target blew over because of the wind. So I'm going to go down there real quick and place it back up. One second. All right, here we go before. So yeah, standing right here or like right here. And I'm going to try to hit that target. And uh, I'm going to shoot before the wind blows and knocks it down again. So I'll, I'll walk up to it after. This is full auto. So yeah, I feel like I was hitting all over the place because I'm holding the camera and not really like with my camera hand, which would be my left hand. I'm not really supporting the rifle very much. So I did hit it. I don't think anything hit way off, but I hardly had any like bullseye. Like looks like one, two, three, four, five in the nine circle. So one, two, three, four, five. This was out, nothing hit exactly right there. But yeah, like I'll try again, not holding the camera. I'll just put it on top of the, uh, maybe I'll put it on top of the stairs or something or like, like right here and I'll shoot the uh, marker again. I'm gonna try one more uh, magazine. This will be a hundred shots. If it does all hundred shots, I think I get a hundred. I'm, I'm not sure, I haven't shot it in like in a couple months. So uh, one second. All right, you guys, same target. Um, this is the same CO2 cartridge. So if this works, it'll be 100 shots on one 12 gram cartridge with the BB gun. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be standing like, um, from this camera, I'm like three, three feet away from the camera. <clears throat> but I put the camera down so I can try to steady my aim. This is the same target, so it just fell over. So one second. All right, here we go. Not sure if I'm out of gas or uh, or what, but I'll check the magazine in a second. I'm just going to show you guys the uh, target pattern. Um, so this was the same target I used earlier. Um, still looks like it's just kind of all over the place. This is just a six, uh, eight and a half by eleven inch piece of paper. So I'll try that distance again, but I'll um, I'll just do semi-auto this time. So, one second. Alright, that paper target's pissing me off, so I'm just going to be shooting um, off in the distance down there. There's some grapefruits and stuff. I'll try to zoom in, but like I said, I'm holding the camera, so um, this might be kind of shaky. I'll do a... I'll do like a 3x zoom, because I feel like if I do any further, it'll be too shaky. And it'll, yeah, it'll be like annoying to watch this. So uh, if it isn't already annoying to watch this, <clears throat> so this is semi-automatic and I am trying to hit that grapefruit on the camera screen right here. So I think my gas is out. I'm going to switch the gas cartridge. All right, replace the gas cartridge. I'm going to uh, charge this. Sorry, it's so shaky. And uh, yeah, I'm shooting for that grapefruit on the screen. Uh, yeah, over there. It's pretty far away. It's on semi-automatic. This is the grapefruit I've been shooting for a couple days now, so with BBs. So I don't know, uh, aside from seeing leaves fly everywhere, or if you can actually see these BBs traveling down range 
uh, I won't be able to know like which ones are new or whatever. So it's staying true out of rounds. I'm gonna pause it real quick and walk over there. So yeah, it's definitely keeping a uh, keeping aim pretty good. I could see some of the BBs flying down here. I'm gonna try not to get uh, caught in a spider web. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've been shooting this grapefruit with uh, my Glock 19 BB gun and some other stuff. But yeah, it's getting getting messed up. I'll flip it around. There's a bunch of fruit flies down here eating this grapefruit. Um, I'll use this other one. I typically just use grapefruit that's already on the ground to shoot at because uh, it's, you know, waste. I can't eat this. There's, there's mice and rats out here and stuff. Probably chewing on it or peeing and pooping all over it and stuff. So I'm going to put that grapefruit on there that has no marks. Has nothing on it. So I'll be shooting that and I'll be uh, up there. So um, I'm going to reload the magazine and then uh, charge up the handle and then start firing. So one second. All right, <clears throat> All right you guys, I'm standing uh, at this wood bricks or brick stuff over here. I'm going to be hitting that first grapefruit right there where the camera is centered on right now. Um, I am going to be holding the camera and shooting, so I don't know... Uh, how good my aiming or stabilizing is going to be and sorry that it's shaky i'm just trying to aim this and hold the camera and get a good angle so yep here we go semi-automatic Out of shots, I think uh, the first 10 shots, my hand kind of moved and the camera lost its view of that fruit. So sorry about that. Um, just gonna show you how many times this thing got pigs. Kind of smells like grapefruit over here. I could kind of see some of the zest and stuff flying off of it. It was either that or, uh, or dirt. So there's one. Maybe I just suck and I can't can't shoot it while holding the camera. So uh, I'm gonna try again. This thing looks like it. It doesn't look like that one over there where it's just riddled with holes. And there's obviously one right there. So I'll try shooting at it again. I'll just put the camera on the stairs and uh, have more stabilization when I'm shooting. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, guys. Um, camera's on the stairs. I'm gonna be shooting. Uh, the grapefruit on the bottom of the screen and uh, this should be better um, aiming accuracy wise so here we go semi-automatic out of shots the rifle is on safe. I'm putting it on the stairs. Um, I am correcting my aim. Um, when I shoot with the bullseye and everything all lined up with my uh, front and back iron sights, it's hitting low. So that would kind of explain why that one round was on the bottom of the grapefruit. So from back there, it looks like I'm, I'm continuously hitting here. So I'm aiming like top of the grapefruit or higher. And uh, you can see all these little holes on it this time. So I am hitting it now, um, and that's, I mean, it's only 20 feet away, 23 feet away, something like that. So it's not that far away, but um, yeah, they're BBs, so they're not going that fast. I think, I think the box 
for that BB gun, it said 430 feet per second max, which isn't that much considering it's a rifle and stuff. Um, I don't have any pellet guns. I don't know if I'm going to get any. Um, I've always liked BB guns more. Just, I don't know, just for some stupid reason, I like BB guns more than pellet guns. But I know that pellet guns have way more penetration and they go faster and they're better for like shooting rodents or pests and stuff. So anyways, I'm just going to um, do the last like 25 rounds out of this guy and then uh, probably call it a wrap on this video. So one second. <clears throat> All right, last uh, last magazine. I'm just gonna put the camera on the ground. I'm gonna shoot from right here. Um, sorry if you can't see it. I'm gonna try to zoom in. So I'm gonna be shooting that grapefruit on the bottom of the screen. The same one I've been shooting. So here we go. So that's it for that magazine. Um, I think I might have a few more shots in that CO2 cartridge, but I'll probably just waste it off camera. That was the fourth mag, so I feel like I won't get very much more out of that, or the uh, shots will be super slow. Um, I don't have my chronograph with me, it's in the house, but I wasn't planning on chronographing any of this. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's more holes on it. Uh, and I was aiming a little bit high because of like the drop um, But yeah, anyways, um, I'll maybe I'll chrono these or something at some point um, I mean, like I said, they're just BB guns <clears throat> I wouldn't really use these in a uh, Like home defense thing. I mainly just use them just to plink shoot or to uh, Like if I see like a coyote or something, I'll use this or uh, um, One of my uh, paintball markers the the modified ones but yeah this thing looks cool um really high quality like craftsmanship um but the only thing i've seen about it is that the internals are garbage like i guess the barrel and the spring and the seals and stuff are kind of crappy um the stock does expand um i don't know if you can buy these anywhere probably like ebay or like maybe amazon but yeah this is what it's called it's a DPMS SBR from Panther Arms slash Crossman. Um, and it's it's customizable, like where you can put accessories on stuff on it. I don't know if you can do much other than that. Like, I've never seen anybody do barrel swaps. I haven't really looked into it, but I don't think you can change the stock. Like, you can't change this. And because um, it's all just like one piece. And I think you can take this off and you can extend the barrel out. But, like, I don't know if I want to... I already have so many other markers and stuff. And I'm not, like, a guy that has extra pieces for other things or knows what fits other stuff that I could kind of, like, just repurpose for this thing. Um, so, yeah, if I, have, if I do anything like that, it takes me, like, a week or two of brainstorming or finding other stuff off of uh forums or uh videos on youtube or like looking on like reddit and stuff like that so i'm not really like that knowledgeable as far as like oh i know what to do to this like right off the top of my head because i don't um but yeah maybe eventually I'll, I'll add link to the barrel or something but for now this is fine just the way it is for me um because the the purpose i use it for which is just uh having fun with shooting cans and stuff like that shooting old fruit on the ground or just trying to hit targets from far away. Um, so yeah, this was the uh, like full automatic spray pattern. Um, you can only shoot for like a second or two on full auto because it only holds 25 rounds and then the whole uh, magazine spent. I do have two magazines, so I can like shoot full auto, swatch out, swap out a magazine, put it in there, do another full auto. But then I have to reload with this thing and this thing isn't slow but you have to push this button um like five or six times depending how many bbs catch in it and push out and uh yeah it'll probably take you like at least 20 or 30 seconds to reload these with that but it's a lot faster than doing 
one at a time pushing it in there one and then letting it drop and putting it in there and yeah it's it's way faster so this thing came with my sbr um if you buy it used or something you probably won't get that or you might only get one magazine i don't know but uh i think they make something called the ak1 and the r1 and something else now that are kind of like the new models new upgraded like models of this um i don't know what the differences are aside from this thing weighs like four and a half five pounds so it's not light um, i think the r1 is lighter than this and it's more plasticky um yeah that's all that's all i really know about it i don't know too much more a lot of the stuff is fake the only thing that's real is uh this little window thing breech window and uh the magazine release like actually pushes and the um fire selector is like real and this is fake this charge handle is real and then like the sights are real and this came on it this is stock um i tried putting this on the tcr burn a tcr but see how it's flat right here and then it goes up so that this part that goes up it gets in the way of the uh, burn a tcr um screws there's screws down here and the screws kind of have like a like a notch like this and they they hit this so i can't even it can't even it can go on the rail but it gets stuck on the front like right here so the this part right here is like sticking out so it doesn't work basically it won't fit unless i like cut this but that's why i got that grip from a and s gear it was like 10 bucks so i got a, a different foregrip on my burner tcr i tried using this but it didn't fit um but yeah that'll be it for this video um maybe i'll do this more in the future using bb guns or something but anyways have a good one and uh i'll see you on the next one if it's not like 90 degrees or whatever out here later